more representation of all shades. Opportunity, I suppose, for everyone. It's kind of funny when you look at movies and then you see you know, what's going on in, you know, in our everyday. It's so, it's so different. Of course, more women directing. More female directors, more female writers, more female everything, more females. There's still only, I think, 12 to 15% of the DGA are women. Doesn't make sense. It's not a job that requires more muscles or more anything. When there's a writer, producer, or a director uh, that's a woman, the percentage of on-screen uh, characters goes up as well that are female. So. And, be and below the line. Yeah, the crew tends to be more female. It's a top-down industry. Decisions are made at the top. And I think if there's a, a greater inclusion at that level, then uh, there's an awareness that spreads downward. The people who are pulling the levers making the decisions, you know, I think once those people become more diverse, more people of color, more women, more LGBTQ yeah, people, yeah, yeah. I think you'll see things in front of camera start to reflect that. More stories. More stories told better. Just, just people being able to tell their stories is very important. Different kind of stories, different kind of point of views. We're all the same, we all have those fears, and I think you can sit down for an hour and a half and realize that like, I am connected to that person. We're all connected through the same kind of fears and, and troubles and joys, so. And I'm always rooting for the, the quiet little story. Whenever we have a movie that's kind of billed as diverse, or a project that's billed as diverse, it feels like there's so much pressure hedging on this thing, because oh, if this one thing yeah. doesn't do well, then suddenly it means that for everyone. Yeah. It's like, once there's like a <laughs> string of them, it's all like, yeah, whatever they, they, they started, well, make some money. It's like 10 of them. <laughs> like, yeah, we go to big there we go. I would hope that like more doesn't equal better. Like good content is better. I want um, everyone to continue to challenge themselves and like just get better and better and better. Take the time to create the art, you know, and not to feel like rushed by the moment. Mm -hmm. I would love um, if bullying in the uh, entertainment industry wasn't so commonplace. I find that to be something that both men and women deal with. Also, I like to see some change on the way we treat uh, extras. I've been in some productions where they treat like, uh, like, like cattle. I've seen that too a lot. It's very embarrassing I, and sad. I want more money. Get that money! I want more money for projects, yeah. <laughs> more money to promote the stuff that we're doing. I want baby boomers out and I want a younger generation to come in. I want everyone over the age of 55 to be retired and I want the entire <laughs> industry to be run by people that grew up in the 80s and 90s because I think that those people are really holding back all the other changes. There needs to be uh, aggressive measures from childhood to be inclusive so that we are talking less in a political sense and about artistic um, integrity of, of, of whoever the artist may be but get everyone included from a very early stage. I feel like there's a lot of really positive change that's occurring right now and a lot of voices that have been silenced are finally getting a podium and uh, but it's not the first time this has happened in history either. You know, there's been a woman's movement before. Mm -hmm. I hope that this this time it sticks out. It's a real out, paradigm you know? shift. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's happening. I think we're in the middle of the like, beginnings of a, of a little revolution. Even looking Not at this couch, like look at I mean, like mm -hmm. we're already. Yeah. I think it's already happening. <laughs>